How do we grow in thankfulness is remembering the gospel, remembering what Christ has done for us, remembering that we were dead in the trespasses and sins in which we once walked, Ephesians says. We were following the course of this world. We were following the principality of the air. We were living our own lives. We were, we were dead. We were lost. We were hopeless. There was, there was no hope for us to save ourselves. We were adamantly fighting against God. We were running from him. We wanted nothing to do with him. We loved our sin, and that's what Christ rescued us out of, remembering that that was once our state. We, we weren't always in line or desiring the things that God wanted for us, right? When we were in our sinful states, we wanted nothing to do with God. We were gladly running to hell. You know, hell is just God giving us what we ultimately wanted. You know, yes, God sends people to hell, but at the same time, if you don't want anything to do with God, hell is nothing to do with God. And that's what God gives you. And that's the, the state that all of us were on. That's the path that all of us were on. Scripture says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. There's none good, no, not one. It doesn't matter what family you were born into. It doesn't matter how you were baptized. It doesn't matter what you've done, who, who you've helped, what money you've given, what tithes you've done or confessions you've made to, to whoever. Like, no, we were all destined to hell and Christ has rescued his church out of that. Christ has rescued those of us who believe in him, who have faith from that circumstance. And praise God for that. Remembering what Christ has done to save us from our sins is really the most powerful way to grow in our, our thankfulness. It's one of the most powerful ways to really give thanks no matter what's happening in our life. When we've messed up and sinned again and again for the hundredth time, remembering that Christ has died for that sin. If I confess my sins, he's faithful and just to forgive me of my sins and cleanse me from, from all unrighteousness. Praise God for that, you know? 